Afghanistan is still recovering after the fall of the Taliban in 2001. The amount of food being produced here is a useful guide to see how one of the poorest countries in the world is coping over four years after the war officially ended. I headed straight to the food market in the capital, Kabul. At least some of the farmers here feel it's safe enough to work their fields, and there's enough demand to keep these stalls open. This meant that I might be lucky enough to find a legendary Afghan speciality, the fat-tailed sheep. This is, this is strange. I've never seen a, a sheep that looks like this before. What is this fat? Some sheep have 25 kilos of fat on their backside. Wow. That's an extraordinary thing. I always thought the fat-tailed sheep was a tail, but it looks like it's just got a massive bottom. And what about this, this massive testicle here? I eat it a lot. It's a very powerful aphrodisiac. <laughs> is it like the Afghan version of, uh, of Viagra? <laughs> this is our pill. It's better than a thousand of your pills. Driving around, there are reminders of the fighting everywhere. Years after the war ended, it's still one of the most dangerous places in the world. In the weeks before I arrived, there were five attempts to kidnap foreigners by remnants of the Taliban. In this poor and battle-scarred country, restaurants are out of reach for most people. Instead, they eat from local street stalls. So tell me what these are. Bulani. Can I have one of each, please? Uh -huh. Bulanis are a type okay, of Afghan pancake eaten with a spicy pepper sauce. This is the filthiest plate I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, let's go and find a let's go and find a really nice quiet corner. Maybe out in the in, out in the beer garden somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. This wasn't the best idea I'd ever had. You're gonna take him to hospital later on. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. It's really, really nice. It's in perfect soft kind of crepe. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm a little bit worried about this plate. Lord knows where it's been. It's probably been washed in this water back here. 